Hey, what's up everybody? Here I am once again with another epic toy pickup. And whew, I know I've been dropping that word a lot in my videos, you know, epic pickups, but I don't know how else to describe this. Uh, this happened like a week ago, maybe a little less than a week ago, but the same person that I've been picking up the Ghostbusters and the Ninja Turtles toys from, well, yeah, you guessed it. I picked up more toys from them. And they were getting rid of their He-Man toys, their old, you know, Masters of the Universe toys. And uh, I picked them up. She told me that there was 280 toys in the lot. But when I, you know, I got it home and I put them all out and counted them all up, it was actually 295. And five figures that I did not count had like, I, I like to call them Franken figures, you know, because it was like, like Triclops had Mechanex arm and uh, Man at Arms arm and you know just just different figures just kind of put together. And I just kind of threw that in a junk pile, so I didn't even count that. So technically, it was 300 figures. But um, yeah, I picked up all of these figures for 400 bucks. Yeah, 400 bucks, a lot of money. But hopefully, I can make. Hopefully, I can recoup some of my money. No, not some. I want to recoup all my money. And uh, keep a little extra for myself to save, you know, whenever she puts up some more toys for sale. So I'm just going to cut to that video right now of me showing you everything. When I first got home with the bins and then after when I like sorted through it and I put it all nicely out on the floor and whatnot. So yeah, I'm just going to cut to that video right now. Hope you enjoy. Bam. Here it all is. In all of its He-Man glory. Look at this, two, two massive, like, I don't know how much these are, like 60 liter tubs again, like filled. Sorry about the lighting, but it's like filled to the top again. Look at that, Scare Glow, super happy to have him. Had him as a kid too, but I sold him at a garage sale like an idiot. So many guys in here, this is a Grizzor. Tongue Lasher, Web Store, there's a <laughs> there's Merman and Mosquito. His blood still works pretty good. It's not not congealed or anything. That's sweet. What's I forget this guy's name. A uh, Cyclone, I think. Spout Snout. So many figures in here. Here's one of the probably many, many different He-Men in here. The battle damage one. Ugh, ugh. So cool. And that, oh, I forget this guy's name, but you know, this is the guy that like folds into a rock. I don't remember his name. And then here's the other tub filled yet again with not one. Not two. Not three. But yes, four battle cats. Four of them. This one is the one that I was already kind of digging through this box a little bit to, you know, pick out the ones I'm going to keep for myself and whatnot. And this is the one that I'm going to keep. He's in immaculate condition. He's got all of his armor as well, but I mean, this guy right here, he's got his saddle and he's got a headpiece right here. So I got two, two complete sets of uh, Battle Cat and then one half a set with a saddle and one lonely Battle Cat with no saddle or headpiece. And these are all the accessories so far that I was able to find. Well, these are the ones that uh, I was able to find, but I don't need because I already have a set of them right here. I mean, He-Man, it's got a complete set. Here's another He-Man sword. That's probably just going to go to the uh, battle damaged one. Triclops, one Skeletor sword, no staff. There's Spike Ors weapon. Here's a couple of Hordak, and I believe this one goes to Dragstor, I think. I don't remember. Here's like a He-Man vest, 
So yeah, it's pretty cool. Here's some of the Roboto accessories. There is a Roboto in here that has, actually he's right here. He's got the other accessory on his hand already. So got the whole set for him. And uh, yeah, this is the one I think I'm gonna be keeping for myself. It looks pretty good. Just a little wear on the bottom of his feet. But yeah, here's the other one. Unfortunately, he only, she only had a two Panthors and this one's got a pretty, pretty nasty crack down the middle of it. And this one is, the face isn't really all that great. Oof. Yeah, so that, that kind of sucks. This one's got the better felt on it, but it's got a huge crack down the middle. And yeah, it's just like, let's take these guys out. It's got this too. I forget what this is called. Oh, here's a saddle. Oh, wait, here's another saddle for the battle cat. So that lonely battle cat actually does have a saddle. It's not so lonely after all. But yeah, I mean, so many in here. Oh, that's a nice looking Hordak right at the top of the box. I'm taking that out, putting them off to the side. Oh, look at this. He's my favorite one. <laughs> Merman with Faker's arms. Probably find a lot of those in here. But yeah, it's just so much. So, so much. Just goes down to the bottom again. Oh, and I also had uh, some of these ones too. Some of the newer release He-Man and She-Ra figures. Two of those, one of her, I forget their names. And uh, yeah, He-Man, two of him. So that was a pretty cool surprise. I wasn't expecting any of those. And uh, yeah, this Hordak I accidentally broke because the rubber inside of his legs was so like dried out, it was like breaking a twig like it wasn't flexible at all at all luckily it's an easy fix though so I shouldn't have a problem just fixing him yeah and uh yeah that's it for the he-man but I mean if that wasn't enough she threw in a bunch of extra ones at no charge at all and that is right here yeah, these are a whole whack of like Planet Heroes figures and play sets and vehicles and, and whatnot. And they also like talk as well. Oh, you fell for the oldest trick in the galaxy. And it came with a DVD. So that's pretty cool. And she also threw in, because she found it and she knows that I bought the uh, Ninja Turtles last time, she threw in another 13 inch Rocksteady. So that's really cool. And, this is, I was really happy about this, a Gigan figure. It's gonna go awesome with my Godzilla, although my Godzilla is only about, mm, I don't know how big he was, like six inches. And this Gigan looks about, I don't know, closer to nine inches. So he's gonna kinda tower over my Godzilla version, but that's pretty cool, nonetheless, to see that Gigan in there. And then, a whole whack right here, of all uh, Peter Pan toys. Just a bonus, like here, just take it. Whole whack, I don't even know how much there are here. They're all Peter Pan, all Peter Pan figures. And these are the ones that I picked out that are the better condition ones that I'm gonna keep for myself of all of them. And I also found a Ripley figure in there from Aliens. So that's really cool. And a bunch of like Gundam figures. Nothing really special. I don't know what the hell that is. Oh, and a indoor helicopter, remote control helicopter. Yeah. So there you have it. That is everything that I got today. Now, if you'll excuse me, it's time to go digging through this box. And this is what 300 He-Man toys looks like laid out on the ground nicely, organized and everything. This big, I guess army, I guess you can call it, of figures is what I'm gonna be selling. And as you can see, there is quite a bit of duplicates here. 
Look at all of those dragsters. Holy shit. Here are the extra accessories and this thing. Whatever that is. It's like a little clip on the back. It's just an army. A straight up army of He-Man. Or He-Men, I guess you can say. And these are the ones right here that I took out for myself. Let's start right up here. So I have two man at arms here. One of them, as you can see, is just a normal head. And the other one's got the red dots. So I figured I'd just keep one of each. Sad story with this Modulock. So, as you can see, he's almost got all of his pieces, right? Got another, whoops, got another few right here. He's supposed to, not, not counting his weapons, he's supposed to have 22 pieces. I found 21. It's missing the other head. Well, shit, that sucks. I'd almost rather have not found maybe only like 10 pieces than only be short one. The merman doesn't have his piece of his belt there, but I have it right here. I just found it at like the bottom of the box. I haven't attached it yet. Here's that battle cat that I showed you guys earlier. Really happy to finally have He-Man. Finally, and not only that, but it's got all of his weapons too. So that's really cool to finally 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 have He-Man complete Wish I could have had Skeletor complete, but he's just missing his staff I mean I have a sword, but no staff and These are just the accessories Here's another merman. This one's got the orange belt. The other one up there has got the green one. So I just figured I'd keep one of each. Here's two of the dark face uh, Grizzlor variants. There's two of them. I already have one myself, so I have three of these now. Probably end up just selling off these two. And this is the uh, the uh, Buzzsaw Hordak. And in my earlier earlier part of this video, I accidentally called him He-Man. I thought this was the He-Man that you know that they re-released in the '90s, that those He-Man figures. But I came to realize that it's actually Bo from She-Ra. Can't blame me. I mean, he looks like He-Man, other than that heart on his chest. And there it is, guys. 295 He-Men to be exact. Wow. Well, there you have it, guys. What an epic score. I'm super excited. Um, I'm actually in the process right now of selling them off. I have little piles of them. I have a couple people that are going to be picking up a few, so hopefully it's not going to take me too long to recoup my money because I am not a big fan of spending money. Uh, contrary to what people believe, I hate spending money, and I get really nervous and anxious when I spend <laughs> spend some money so I really don't want to sit on this for too long. I want to get it out, get it out, get my money back and yeah, just be the end of it for <laughs> these He-Man toys. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, negative or positive, I don't care, leave a comment. 
And if you want and haven't done so already, subscribe and I will see you guys next week.